this uh, huge number of refugees in the region. Yeah. I think, I think uh, first of all, we have to, to, to acknowledge the fact that our region is one of the regions which you are refugee prone. Mm -hmm. And the problem of refugees goes back for many decades. I think if you look at Sudan and Ethiopia, uh, Sudan has been producing uh, refugees since the 50s of the last century. Mm -hmm. And also in the case of Ethiopia, Ethiopia was in war since the 60s, uh, the liberation of Eritrea led to millions of refugees uh, that crossed the borders of uh, different countries, including Sudan. And even Sudan itself is uh, one of the big countries in, uh, in the region that produces refugees. And ironically, Sudan produces refugees and also receives refugees. Mm -hmm. uh, but then this is also the case with uh, many of the uh, countries in the region that produce refugees and at the same time they also receive refugees if you look at the if you look at south sudan ethiopia uganda sudan each one of these countries has its own refugees yet at the same time it also hosts a uh, great numbers of, uh, of refugees so this is a problem that is engulfing the the, the, the region and uh, i'm specifically referring to the Igat countries and the whole and, and the Horn of Africa and East Africa generally, although there are few uh, stable countries like uh, Rwanda and Tanzania and Kenya mm -hmm. also uh, in a bit in a way is uh, stable. But if you look at Sudan, uh, Uganda, Ethiopia, uh, Eritrea, South Sudan, Somalia, all these countries have problems that uh, result in the production of millions of refugees. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think the the long term solution will be for, for? Well, I think I think if we if we would like to address the problem of refugees, we we first need to look at the at the root causes that produce mm -hmm. refugees. And now, what these countries are dealing with, and uh, and they are quite right in doing that, is the uh, consequences of the creation of refugees. They are receiving uh, millions of refugees, uh, yet there uh, don't seem to be enough efforts, uh, you know, that should be worked out to address the root causes of problems. If, if you look at the countries that are producing refugees, Sudan, South Sudan, Ethiopia, Eritrea, these countries were uh, in, uh, in 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 problems for a long time, they have uh, serious internal issues. Their economies are not functioning well. Uh, some of them are experiencing civil wars, and as long as these problems continue, we will continue to see uh, floods of refugees leaving uh, these countries. And ironically, uh, the refugees are actually in in in, in, in a form of a circular movement because. They leave South Sudan and come to Sudan, which is in, in troubles. Mm -hmm. They try to go to Ethiopia, which in itself is having problems and, uh, and so forth. So my, my, my point is that if we want to address this problem, then we need to attack the root causes mm -hmm. of the problem. And at the same time, we would also like to, to, to see countries deal with the consequences of, 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 of refugees. Mm -hmm. and in my opinion, for, for, for the long run, I think these countries need to develop policies that would provide options for refugees, you know. Mm -hmm. And we all know that as, as far as the United Nations is concerned, they have the so-called the three durable solutions, repatriation, uh, integration in the host societies, or resettlement in a third place. I think given the, the cultural similarities between the countries in the Horn of Africa. Uh, I would strongly advise and recommend that these countries adopt uh, uh, an open door policy, mm -hmm. uh, the sort that Uganda is now uh, adopting. And I, I commend the policy that the Uganda government is adopting by making it easy for people uh, to, you know, access services and have uh, access to services that the citizens have. 
Sudano also play, you know, uh, adopts uh, more or less an open policy with regard to refugees and especially with regard to South, South Sudanese. Uh, they are welcome in Sudan and they are not really uh, discriminated against in the strictest sense of the, of the term. So for the long run, there need to be policies in place that would encourage, support the integration of 